and what is going on YouTube just another gaming channel bring you just another video so guys my apologies for the late um, and basically I had the whole set apart from the helmet last time I when I was on and I just got the helmet this time like four times so I guys I apologize I'm, I need once one item each for the um, the forge arm sets I've got the hunter one I thought I'd done it but I haven't there's still several sets I've not done guys I'm not going to do the reverie sets I've mentioned this before I think they're horrendous their reskins are some of the worst armor sets uh, what I didn't realize without thinking about it is they've actually added these are armor sets from destiny to year one with random rolls now there are some amazing armor sets they could have brought back instead of these shy these these three specifically it's just a, it's a pure coincidence but they're the worst armor sets I think in the game and the moment I did the videos for them in year one I deleted all three sets <laughs> so anyway um, okay this guy wants to you know bother me so guys we're gonna do the uh, new the iron banner set it's pretty cool now I noticed this set is also a reskinned the, the there is a reskinned version which is the Tesseverus current set which I've got that full set so I'll do that as well and not in this video but uh, we're gonna go in and have a look we'll have a look at the law we'll have a look at the armor design and we'll have a look at some sexy sexy shaders because you know shaders are my thing uh, I don't know I said that it's okay uh oh, I said the word gay, and with uh, progressive political leanings and basically a complete psychopathic viewpoint that's overtaken the world, I'm going to get banned or I'm going to be gayophobic all of a sudden. <laughs> it's insane, it guys. This world has lost its shit. It has lost its shit. I'm laughing about it, but guys, I swear to God, I've been I've been deconstructing and analysing, critically analysing. The political landscape and the world landscape and the human condition and human psyche for about 20 years now just in my own time but it's thorough i mean it's the equivalent of five phds of work i've been doing just for my own you know satisfaction but what i see terrifies me the way society is moving terrifies me anyway enough of that shit. it's a pretty nice looking set i wasn't a fan to be honest at first I do have the other two sets here, and I wasn't a fan of this one at first, but actually I quite like the Hunter one. It's not bad at all. And I've been meaning to upgrade all these, but I just can never have enough cores. It's very frustrating. I'm only 691 because these are not upgraded yet, some of these items. So, do apologise. But that's a nice looking set, this. It's not bad at all. It looks very rubbery, doesn't it, the cloak? Like a rubber material. Anyway, let's get in and have a look. Cunning can topple strength. Any day, hone yourself, Lady Peru. Is that Lady Peru? That's is that that's uh, from from Destiny One, isn't it? The she she took him for took over for Lord Saladin on the Rise of Iron stuff. Uh, yeah. Okay. So it is it is a uh, survivalist hunter set. So we've got more resilience and uh, recovery than anything. Um, so we've got health recovery and resilience there. Heavy lifting. Brilliant perk, guys. Gain bonus super energy from power power weapon kills. It's fantastic. But I always save my power weapons for for bosses. I have LMGs, which should be used for, for ads, but I never use them. And power weapon targeting. Slightly improved target acquisition accuracy and aim down sight speeds. Not bad, not bad. So then we've got linear fusion rifle reserves. No, that's nice, because I've got the Arbalist and, you know, the sleeper, so that's not bad. Uh, and shotgun reserves. Now, I don't use shotguns generally. I think in PvP they're a bit cheap. It's a bit, I feel, I'd feel too bad, because if I had a shotgun, no one would ever kill me. <laughs> so, but anyway, um, so I do, so this, this arm, this, this headset right here is actually, I've got three of these headsets, and what I mean by that is I don't have three Iron Banner headsets. I have this one, I have the one from Tesseverus, which is part of a different set, and then I have the, 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 there's a set that a lot of you guys like, that I can't remember what it's called exactly, it's one of the ones I were wearing. The, the left arm is like interlaced, it looks like, you know, like you get the interlacing of like icing or pastry. It looks like that, this beautiful structure on the, on one of the left arms. Um, but yeah, they've reskinned uh, an armor set three different times, so this is generally part of that set. Um, enough design changes that they're different, but still it is the same helmet. It is, uh, well, that's nice, that's a nice looking, cool helmet. i got to say, I like the helmet. The... Um, I think that's meant to be like a fur, but it's more like rubber, isn't it? I don't know. Cool, cool scarf there. It's a nice design, though. I've got to admit. 
And actually, I've been quite happy with the g generic colours of the last three Iron Banner sets. There are some other shaders that work, but these seem to work the best, which is kind of cool. Um, and this is the Iron Ruby, okay. The other one was a Rusted Iron, I think, or Iron Rust. That's not bad at all. I like the shape. I do like the shape of the, the hood, and I didn't like it before. And I didn't like it because of the material. It looks like a rubbery, thick, you know, which, you know, it'd be heavy. It'd be a lot heavier than your natural cloth um, cloaks. But st still cool nonetheless, guys. Okay. So, I do love the sort of tiling effect of this. Um, but before we get into the arms, guys, let's have a look. Never raise arms without reason. Lady, Lady Ephrodite. No, it was Lady Ephrodite from, from Rise of Iron. Okay. So, um, on to heavy set. Okay. Oh, right, yeah, I keep forgetting that the drops can all be different. I need to keep an eye out for those drops then. Have a full set of one type. So, we've got mobility and resilience. Sidearm, that's a shame. Um, momentum transfer, that's fine, but a lot of the stuff from Eververse and, and events like this, they don't usually have a loader of any type. And what I've noticed, you have like. The momentum transfer is a common one and there's something else that's unusual luckily this comes with heavy ammo drop drop or machine gun scavenger so that's really good um, I always look for these two perks try and equip them multiple times so I get I hope they stack, I'm, I've got no confirmation I hope they do that so yeah the, the tiling effect, the alligator uh, armadillo and alligator type armor, you know the lead uh, blocks of armor, that's pretty cool uh, you look at the little gold rivets and things, I guess they would be ties of some sort. Um, and you've got a relatively cool um, armoured uh, wrist guard. Uh, green straps to, to mimic and support the green of the scarf and belt and, and uh, <clears throat> attachment buckles and things like that and straps. So, pretty cool. And you guys know I love asymmetrical designs. I love one shoulder to be different to the other. So it's the same arm arm piece and arm design, but then you've got this, uh, this you know, huge triple layered shoulder plate, which is really cool. It's on the wrong arm. Um, if, if you know anything about it, it's on the wrong arm, basically. Uh, you wouldn't face, you know, if you're predominantly right-handed, you would face your character that way. Okay, so you'd normally have the shoulder guard on this arm because you'd be facing it. Say I was the enemy. Say this character's looking at me off screen. I'm the enemy. If predominantly the right handed, you would have your left side facing your body because you need momentum with a sword or a melee or um, even weapons you're going to aim in from that. You need whichever side is your dominant side facing should be armored to hell. But never mind, that's cool. I just assume that this guy's left-handed, not right-handed. So I love the straps here. Um, I know we're not talking about the chest piece yet, but while it's active, like, little pouches. I love little details like that. You know, water bottles or rations. That's pretty cool. Okay. So. Mobile Hunter armor. Damn it. I, you know, I didn't realize it all dropped totally different from one another. So this is a Mobile Hunter. Improved mobility. But I've got resilience and health recovery so how does that work has it just got naturally got a mobility buff i don't know but anyway we've got unflinching pulse rifle and unflinching rifle aim okay um we've got hand cannon reserves and submachine that's a pretty good one because I, I i like submachine well there's one submachine gun i like well there's two submachine guns i like both exotics the huckleberry and the risk runner the huckleberry in particular it's a freaking beast um but yeah the chest lovely it's fantastic you got the red you got the red armor plating on the back under the cloak um, same as the front you've got the traditional tree with the uh, iron lords or the wolves on on there um, I mean it's multiple lead armor set this is real nice actually you've got the armadillo plating underneath a soft pliable armor set that allows extreme movement and bendiness essentially mobility um, then you've got a second layer um, of, of solid armor, which is probably still somewhat flexible, probably made of plasteel. I'm guessing. I oh, know that's from that's from Warhammer 40 k um, And then you've got a third set for extra protection. That that chest plate covering all your main organs and your vital areas. Very cool. Very cool design. Very cool. Impressed. Ah, what we didn't do, guys, is read the law. If your heart is not full of dread before a fight, you are no better than the warlords. Ooh, Lord Gellion. Oh shit. 
getting some some warlord uh, advice there. Um, so the uh, the legs, ladies and gentlemen. If you step to war, you best step with a plan. Lady Peru. Survivalist armor set that will be improved recovery. We've got mobility and recovery. Shotgun dexterity and outreach reduces melee cooldown when using your class ability. Special ammo and auto scavenger rifle reserves. Not bad, not bad. And again, I think this is a great set. I didn't like it last last month, last Iron Banner. I didn't like it at all. But um, ee -ee. <laughs> sorry, I can't help myself. Toxic masculinity, oh, bullshit. <laughs> um, yeah, this is great. I love I love the fact that they've kind of they've arm they've like additional armor plates on certain areas. That's kind of cool. Um, I always like the shoe design. This is not bad. It looks like a just like a, a, a sort of more formal verse converse right there. <laughs> more formal version of converse. But still, um, you know, all your legs protected and your kneecaps and then high up end leg and thigh protectors. That's pretty cool. Oh, beautiful cloak. And this is a nice set. I can't believe I didn't like it. It's weird how you step away for a month and I think it's because I didn't think they're as good as the other ones. I think that's it. So the cloak. Suffer no evil, Lord Ephrodite, Lady Ephrodite, sorry. So we've got innovation and invigoration. Invigoration is reduced as melee cooldown each time you pick up an orb. And the innovation, of course, is regra uh, reduces grenade cooldown when you pick up orbs. We've got special ammo or increased amount of gun ammo you can carry. That's fantastic. Um, and I think overall, that's a really lovely set. It's shader time. Doo, doo, doo. I should do a graphic and a drop in there. I think probably. Um, shaders, where are you, boys? Where are you? Okay, guys. Okay, let's just be crazy and do shit we won't normally do. Let's look at Metallic Sunset. It was flashing. Let's do it. Oh, that's pretty nice, actually, isn't it? It's got a. It's, it's not a feminine quality, it's something in between male and female, isn't it? More etheric, more, more, you know, the ethereal plane, you know, kind of, not the taken plane, but if you think of an ethereal plane of mystic, mysticism, mystics and energy and magic, like, that's what I get from that. That's pretty nice, it's pretty nice. Alright, let's do the hake, the history polish, so what? That's actually not bad. That's not bad. The problem with this is it's a bit seventies for me. So sorry about the dogs barking if you're picking that up, guys. The 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 pop filter and the the type of mic I've got, I use is pretty good at taking that stuff out. But I apologise nonetheless. That's not bad. That's not bad. So let's do monochromatic. This used to be a favourite of mine. Don't use it barely anymore. There's been better shades come out in recent years, but it's still pretty nice. Yeah. Imagine that pure white hunter. That would that looks cool, man. I gotta say, I've gotta say. Um, what else we got? Oh, okay, yeah, the Arctic Dreamscape. I need to buy a few more of these. Um, that's pretty cool. Now, obviously, you know what? We're gonna go with Iron Banner shaders, guys. Let's look at some Iron Banner shaders. Okay, we've got Iron Battalion. Not one of my favourites. It's more leans towards green. I mean, that's oh, that's pretty nice though. You see, it depends on what type of uh, armor set you were working on, because this shader looks terrible on, say, certain Titan ones or Wallet ones. Dogs, please stop barking. I hope you guys aren't picking that up. I, I do apologize. It's just too too warm in, in the UK at the moment to, to close off. Um, yeah. Um, and then we've got Iron Wolf. This was always one of my favorites. Any metal armor, it turned silver instead of gold, which I really liked. Um, so we've got brown and then this um, silver silver plates with gold trim. I mean, that's just a nice set. I wish they'd update the old Iron Banner ornaments and stuff so you can wear the, the Japanese. Oh, that's so cool. All right, let's do Vanguard Unity. Let's just have a look. It's pretty nice. I like this orange and blue. This type of orange and a slightly different type of blue. You know the Prodigy set on the Titan? There was a future war cult set of that, which were way better because it had like a diagonal line across it, basically. And what that line was, it was an invisible line, but it meant half of your armor, like one arm was orange on the blue side, and then they'd split the colors at a diagonal all the way down from left 
to left big like left little toe to the top of your helmet. So it was a diagonal cut with blues and and, and oranges. It was beautiful. I wish to bring that back. Now, Prodigy Set is a reskin of that, but it's just really plain, unfortunately. So let's have a look at um, Ironwood. That's not bad. That's not bad. Just a bit darker into it with the uh, the dark uh, what well, wood colour, I, I suppose. Um, not bad at all. I do try and go through these at this point, guys, because I don't know how long you guys like videos for. Rusted iron. See, I'm not on rusted iron at the moment. We're doing we're doing ruby iron or something. So that's from the last set. That not as good. I don't. It looks okay. Not as good. Um, we do have. Oh, so we have a gambit chrome. This works brilliant on uh, some things. It's just all silver. It looks white, doesn't it? It's so silver, it almost comes off as white. That's nice. That's real nice. I still think I prefer the, the traditional colour, man. I can't believe I'm saying it. There's not many things that don't change. Um, oh, let's have a look at the new age black armour. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. You don't realise this is a green, like a, like a greeny grey. It's more green than anything, but looks alright, yeah. Looks good. Um, now, I do have the non-new age black other armoured colour, which is there. Refurbished black armor. This is very cool as well. It can be very cool anyway. So it's an unusual color. It's it's almost like pouring oil in water, but it's ever so subtle, which is what I like about it. Yeah, I'm I'm going to keep grinding some iron banner with this character just to get my uh, these few look, these these things. I want to get these because um, I've been spamming grenades, so it's hard to get kills. Everyone's spamming grenades. It's hard to get kills with weapons. That's what I need to do, I think. Um, Anyway, guys, I think um, I think we're doing all right. So, so should we go Crucible? It's going to be bright orange. I've still not done any character bright orange, but I think it's so cool. Um, but I do believe uh, we've got here, Iron Strength. This is a different one. This is from the other 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 set. Let's see how this turns out. That's that's not bad. That's not bad. I still think the current colour is probably one of the best. I mean, I'm sure I could go into. I've got most of the shaders for this game. I sh these are just some that just stay with me for whatever reason. No, no particular reason. Some are like. Some I just forget to. Yeah. Ah, buffer overflow. This has a weird metallic silver, and like pink, like a rose, a rose type metallic. Like that's pretty cool. Rasputin. Uh, okay. But anyway, so guys, we're there. We're there. We've done. We've got this done finally. I do apologise. Um, I need to type out the the uh, descriptions. I don't. I thought I'd already done it. Uh, maybe I have. Um, but I hope everyone's okay, guys. I hope you're having a good time. Um, I hope you're enjoying Destiny. And apologies for the dog. I'm just going to go outside now and strangle it. <laughs> Not really. But guys, I appreciate those that watch. I'd like to get to 600. I don't promote myself, this is the problem, I don't promote myself, very little editing, I get it guys, there's way better channels out there, I'm just recording because I like chatting to, you know, a few people that watch, it's kind of cool, um, you know, I've not monetized this channel, I don't ask for any money, I wouldn't ask for any money with a channel that puts this little effort in, um, it's enough effort for me to type out thousands, well I've got text edit files on my iMac with thousands of uh, tags, like, you know, I've done... You know, like 30 tags, 20 to 30 tags in a paragraph, and then there's literally, it's you scroll down and it's it's never ending. Like hundreds of tag sets, which means there's, there's thousands of tags, uh, you know, hundreds of individual paragraphs of tags, hundreds, uh, back from Destiny uh, right at the beginning. So, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one. So, cheers.